we're going to go through the commissioning menu of the iSolar Plus controller. Now the iSolar Plus and the iSolar 4 are pretty much the same controller as far as the commissioning menus. There will be six steps to go through to, uh, to plug it in and commission it. The iSolar 2, number 2, only has four steps. Now what you want to do is follow along with the manual when you're doing this so you know what it's asking you to do and your choices for commissioning. So, mount it on the wall. The next thing we do is power it up. You can see the sensors and the, the powers wired up as well as the um, um, the power to the pump and everything. So if we plug it in, you'll see what happens first. And it's a good idea when you plug it in to probably cover up your wiring so you don't stick your fingers in the wrong spot when you're putting this together. So I'm going to quickly put the cover on it here so I don't reach into the wires when I'm trying to explain this for you. All right. Now you notice when you plug this in, it's going to ask you which language. This um, is available in uh, German, French, or English. Since it's a global uh, control, you have to set the language. So anytime you want to make an adjustment, you can see the arrow on my finger, so you can pay attention here. Um, you want to hit the set menu. See, this one happens to say um, German when I plugged it in, DE. So you hit the set menu, and whenever you hit the set menu, the little set window there will flash. So now you can choose the language um, that you want to uh, Whenever the window is flash and set, you can uh, make a change by either arrow to the right or arrow to the left. So I'm going to go over to English. Anytime I make a change on the menu, I've got to accept it by hitting the set button. One time, that's in. Now it's going to ask me the units. I want to be in Fahrenheit. Scroll over to that, hit the set button, accept that. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to go to the... Um, Next one is the time. Now we want to set the time of day, so um, we hit the OK. What time is it, by the way? And then we're going to go over to the time of day. I'm going to say it's 4.30 here, 4.24. Hours first. Then you go over the minutes, 4.24. OK. That's the time is set. Now we're going to choose the arrangement that we want to use. The basic arrangement for just the solar is arrangement one. I'm going to say yes to that. And the one last one is the storage temperature. So the menu is here is going to explain what it's asking to do. So I look at that as storage max. So the maximum temperature that the storage tank will go up to, in this case 140, that's the factory default. We're going to accept that. And, um, oops, sorry. And we've got the arrangement. We've got the storage. The pump speed, the minimum pump speed. This is, if you're going to use the variable speed function, this is how low the pump can rev down to. It comes factory set at uh, 30%. We're going to accept that. Um, okay, so after we've made all those changes, it's going to say, okay, are you fine with what you've changed? If yes, hit that. Now, as soon as you hit the okay, it's going to go back to reading the collector temperature. So now you've programmed the commissioning menu, and now I'll also show you that this, now you're in the view menu. This is what the customer, the owner can look at when they're down there. They can look at the collector temperature. It'll always read collector temperature. The next time you arrow over, there's your tank storage temperature. That's reading the bottom sensor, wherever you put it on the tank. Percentage of the pump speed, obviously the pump's not running right now. We don't have a, the sun's not out yet, so the pump's not running. And then it's going to tell you HP, and that stands for hours of pump. That tells you how many hours the pump's been running since you wired this control up and commissioned it and started it up. So you can uh, take that back to zero if you go down after 30 days and say, oh, I want to start over and keep track of how many uh, hours a month my pump runs. Just hold the set, back, uh, set button down, and it'll go back to um, zero on hours of pump. I waited too long after 10 seconds it goes. And then, of course, your time menu is the last one. So there's the commissioning. That's the view menu that the homeowner can look at and, and uh, see what's going on. And it's uh, fairly simple to do that. Follow along in the manual when you do it, so if you lose track of what setting you're on, you can just read ahead and see what it's going to ask you next.